Welcome once again to Panel Data Analysis. In this video, I'm going to give the general panel data model and also talk about the first difference. Say we have a pool OLS um, in this way. So we have uh, our dependent variable for company one, company I, let's say company I, at T, time, time T. So this I represent the unit that we observe. T represent the time dimension. So it represent all the years that we are probably studying. And then B, beta null is the constant time and we have beta which represent um, all the coefficient to be estimated. Next, IT, meaning that if we take a variable called um, uh, age of a company, so that is X, at for one company at time a uh, particular point in time and then we have the error component for company i at time t so this is ols so what panel data does is to decompose this error time into two called the ui which represent the fixed effects element and the fixed effects element is what we cannot observe. So if the CEO of a company is a woman or a man, which we don't have in our data set, and that could be part of, that could, could, could affect our analysis, we are not able to observe that. So anything we cannot observe and is remaining constant over time is represented in this UI. So if you run a regression, for example, you use fixed effects and someone asks you why having to control for this variable, this variable, which seem to be constant over time, you could probably just say that we have used a fixed effect and we control for this time, constant, unobservable factors. And UI, VIT is the remaining error time. So if that one is random, Now, if we plug in this uh, new breakdown into the model, we will now have UI VIT. And so now this is our general panel data model. So OLA does not take this UI into account and therefore the estimates uh, are biased. If we have a correlation between the independent variables and this UIT. So how does panel data control for unobserved heterogeneity or how do we control for this effect? Well, if you still want to run an OLS, the easiest way is to include dummies for all the companies or all the eyes. And that will control for this. But there's a problem. There's a problem when we have large N, when we have many companies or many individuals to include. So if you have thousands of companies, will you create thousands of dummies? No. So that's the problem. So panel data techniques are here to solve this UI problem. So let's start with the first difference model. The first difference model uh, transform our original equation, equation three, by taking differences between the years. So you take, um, you subtract t minus one values from t. So you take last year's value, for example, you subtract from this year value of a variable. So after transforming that, for example, we have the y change in y is just what I explained, the differences between the years. And then by doing this transformation, first differencing, then we are able to remove UI because it's constant over time. So after doing that, then we can simply run the transform model. So equation five can now be run using OLS. 
that is what first difference does all right let's look into the differences the advantages and disadvantages of uh, first difference advantages first as we just seen easy to compute so the mathematical computation is easy and the second advantage is that you control for individual heterogeneity so if there's any difference that is constant over time is able to control for that because ui represent all the differences that are constant over time we are also able to check a, a change in the policy so before and after we are able to look into the impact of any policy introduced by the company so we just say the difference between the policy and then we subtract the time that uh, the policy was not introduced so the change between or for example we look into the independent variable which could be uh, performance so we take the performance variable and we subtract last year's values and also we have a more efficient uh, estimator when the than the fixed effects model when vit is random or is um, not stationary so what does it mean to be more efficient is uh, the first different model takes it uses more information because it only takes the difference differences between two years whereas fixed effects will take the averages for all the years so sum up all the the the, the years of the of particular the value for all years of a particular variable divided by the total number of years so you are losing a lot of inf information by taking averages let's look at the disadvantages first difference is not able to control for endogeneity you will have real endogeneity problem first difference is not able to look into that we will look into ind endogeneity later in other videos and then first difference model is less efficient when the error time is normally distributed all right so and we also have um a problem with small variation in the explanatory variable if the change in the explanatory variable is not significant then you may this may lead to high standard errors and the last um, disadvantage is that we have autocorrelation problem because last year's values are often related to this year's values so by taking the differences it still doesn't solve any problem of autocorrelation so that's the end of the video and we will look into uh, the next model which is the random effects in the next video